Hello everyone, this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we're taking a look at Books of Time. This is a new game from Philip Glovash and published by Board and Dice. It plays from one to four players in 45 to 60 minutes. Books of Time. This is one that we have seen pictures of and people have been, hmm, this looks interesting. <laughs> and the main reason for that is because it has these books. A little books. It has small books, so binders cute. that you can open up and it has different things on different pages. It 10 out of 10. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching this review. Um, books of Time is kind of a... Mm, what kind of game is it? It's a book building game. It's an action selection game, I would mm -hmm. say. It is a game where you're going to play 15 rounds and you are going to try to get the most victory points because points are life. And you are going to mostly be getting new pages to your track, placing those pages and, and writing them into your books. You have three books. You had the yellow and the green over there. You also have a red book and that you place pages with different colors in them. Those colors are yellow, green, and red. Yes, that's the last yes. one. Uh, and you are going to place them into the books. When they are in the book, then you can choose to do the actions in the book. You will then be able to do the action on both of the sides. And after you have done it, you will turn the pages so the next time you activate that book, you will be able to do other actions. You're trying to maximize your points, maximize your actions because you only have 15 of them. You can also move on tracks, which are going to get you some different bonuses. They have the tra there's a track to each book, basically. A yellow, green, and red. A yes, track that you can move on to get different bonuses and also some points if you can get all the way to the top. There's also some scoring possibilities throughout that time of moving on those tracks. So that is basically what you're going to do. There's a timer in the game that is this chronicle. That's going to also have like a bonus that you can choose for every round. And then you're going to turn over and next round is going to be different bonuses. After 15 rounds, the player with the most points is going to be the winner. You're going to have final scoring, some objectives, the top track, the top of the, of, of the three tracks, which are yellow, green, and red. Yes, I'm done with that now, I think. Hopefully, we will see. Um, and then the player with the most point is going to be the winner of this game, which is called Books of Time. Let's talk about stuff. Yes, artwork and components are fun in this game. It yes. is mostly like cards and tokens, but the most unique things are these books. I really like the binders. It feels really tactile. And um, like first when you talked about, oh, it, it, you can do the both pages, I was like, oh, but that isn't that unique. But then you have this cool thing. I, I, I enjoy it. And I really like that they have a nice artwork on the cards as well. And the iconography is really clear and yeah, good. Did you now almost start talking about the gameplay and stop mid-sentence? Yes, that's true. <laughs> and then you have this very cool thing and the binders look very nice. <laughs> yes. I was like, what was that really cool thing? The people like on their edges. Hopefully yes, you remember later, what later. the cool thing yes. is. Because sometimes they say, we're going to talk about this later and we don't. Yes. So hopefully now you remember what the thing and I had to close the binder. <laughs> Sorry about that sound. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy the looks of the game. It looks nice on the table. Uh, and I think the artwork in the books themselves are nice and, and, and like are his, like it's a historical theme yes. of you moving through time. There is really like this... Like discoveries of medicine of and travels and... And swords. And swords. Dun, dun, dun. You'll be fighting the swords. It's not a fighting game. But does the game have a rule book? Oh, great hmm. question. I would just... I always wonder. I was just wondering like, when are you going to ask me about that rule book? And it does. It actually is pretty long. And when I opened it up, I was like, oh, wow, it's 27 pages of rules. But it's not. It is basically, you have some set of pages. And then you have key concepts, which is going to be four pages. And you have gameplay, which is three pages, which is not a lot because it's a simple game. And then you have basically all the different cards. You have like pages descriptions. Who is Pythagoras? Who is Rosalind Franklin? Who is Albert Einstein? So you can also learn something from this rule book. Then you have the rule book, the solo rule book, I mean, and then an appendix with all of the symbols that you don't have uh, anywhere else explained. So everything is very well explained. And sometimes in board and dice games, that is something that's lacking. 
Another thing that's lacking sometimes is <laughs> a player. <laughs> they usually have rules. I don't rules. know what happened. They usually have rules. It's yeah, like rule book. No, it was a player, rate, but it is actually a player rate in this one. And thumbs up for that. They are double sided with icons on the other one side and all the actions on the other side. Really helpful. I really liked it. Yeah, it basically makes you never not really need this, except for some of the things in the reference, but there was nothing we couldn't find the answer to. Yes, did we play the game? Yes. How many players did it take time? Yes, we have only played this two players and it, ha it has taken us approximately one hour every time. So I think it might add some time when you're playing with more than two players. For example, eight. The but no, that's not possible. Uh, the box says 45 to 60 minutes. I would say like you will exceed that a little bit when you're playing with three and four. But we don't we know. Think. Yes. yes. Uh, the gameplay. It has gameplay. It is. And uh, I basically talk a bit about it in the overview. There's 15 rounds. You are going to activate these pages. You're going to get new pages on your, your basically there's a track that moves and have different prices for you to put them into the game or into the books. There's really only two resources in the game. You have mm -hmm. the pages and the pens and, and files, you have the files, which is, which is jokers, yeah. a little joker. He's like sitting on the side making jokes and being like, I have a funny file. And you will be like, Haha, that's a fun one file. I like you. You're a real joker. That's what you meant, right? Yes. Yeah, and uh, this is one of those games where you don't want to waste an action. There are other actions you can do as well. You can, for example, turn the pages in your books. I'm using this brown book, which is not a book you use. So you can, for example, do an action. You can turn one page in up to the three books that you have. And that is kind of like an action that feels kind of wasty because you only have 15 rounds, but sometimes you have to. There's also an action where you can close the book and then you will get some uh, instant bonuses. If you get to the end of a book, you will open it again and you will get all the instant bonuses in the book that you have. So, but so all, most of these things you kind of try to not do. Yeah, you mostly do like the take pages or write pages or go up on tracks yeah. or activate your book. Actions. But you really don't. Like in this game, because it has so few actions, you don't really want to do the take a book, so take pages action. No. You don't really want to do the write book action. No. And you really don't want to do the move on track action. You really want to combo it with actions in your books. N not always. No, no. Not always. Sometimes, if you have a lot of books that you want or pages, pages that you want to write, <laughs> yeah. uh, it will be maybe like um, suboptimal to write one and one page by activating your books. That is because true. if you choose to write pages you can write all of them if you have saved up enough resources you're gonna be same, like Stephen King writing yes, all, all those of pages. the pages and the same goes for moving up on track so you can save up and do this really powerful actions mm -hmm. I really like that yeah that, that is absolutely true and those are things you want to do but you don't want to do it too often mm -hmm. you want to like do <clears throat> kind of this leeching thing which always is good in combo games uh, trying to, okay, so now I have these pages, I want to do that because I'm going to get that page, then I want to do this page, I'm going to turn that page, now you have a new action here, that will then make it done, bam, 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 bam. Boom, yeah. So it's one way you, you want, like, the order of the things you do might make it better for you, and I will know because I have won all the times we play the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this never happens because I usually lose, but this game I want. Yeah, you're winning in this That's game. That's why I wanted to say it, because it's important for me that people know that I'm not a loser. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get that. Uh, I think that... It, Back to the review. What makes these um, actions have meaning is the different, uh, like, building a book is cool, but yeah. why do you do it other than for getting more actions? You're doing it for the points. And you're going to uh, have these individual um, objectives yes. that you want to meet. For example, have these three symbols on the pages in your green book, or mm -hmm. have these symbols in the specific order in the yellow book, or have mm -hmm. these other symbols in the red book. Yes. And uh, you can go for the easy objectives, or you can like remove the top layer, and then you have to go for a more um, a difficult objective, but it gives you more points. Yeah, I like that. I think that um, the first time you played, I did win without going for them at all. I got five points in total, and you got like 40. Yes. So you can 
This is not like you have to go for them. And also they're going to be different each time you play. So you're going to get a set of each of them. So it's going to be a bit of variability there. Mm, the tracks in the middle, I feel also are kind of important. Like the top step gives you quite a lot of points. Mm -hmm. So if one player goes to the top of two of them, like I did, for example, the last time we played, mm -hmm. and another player doesn't go to the top of any of them, that's going to be a hard swing for the points. I feel like because there's not that many things to do in the game mm -hmm. like there's not that many all the pages even though many of them are different feels similar yeah I because agree. there's not many things you can get you can get the files you can get points you can get moving on tracks you can get to p p get more pages or like it's the same things so you cannot really like I, I said like you could not maybe do that but then the, the objectives do that you cannot really well, do that i feel like you can both go very very invested in like one of the colored books yes uh, like but then you should probably try to do the scoring in that book yeah uh, the objective or you can like balance it and try to do a little in each book mm -hmm. but then you also should do like some objective things but you don't have to do uh, the objectives like perfect and be like heavy in no, them no. to get like some points out of it but don't listen to me because i've lost every time Time, so I have kind of gotten for a two color strategy that's yeah. kind of like what I've, I've gone for so I've been doing like either one very heavy or two and then trying to move on those tracks because those points are very heavy uh, and also trying to get the most of the objectives on the way as well mm. it really depends on for example the last time we played I got the starting hand which had kind of all the symbols I needed to get the basic one for the yellow so i just chose those and it was kind of a very easy start for that mm -hmm. so that's kind of like random how you can get into that also it many times is going to be depending on what cards are, comes up for example when we played now i was going to try to go for red, red as well but the, the, the symbols i needed kind of never arrived when i needed them mm. so and when they came it was so late i was like okay i'm just going to ignore that and do yes. the other things um, it's an easy, even in two players, you can cycle pretty quickly through yes. the cards because there's many uh, actions that makes you like take out the offer and put out new cards. And also there is going to be, you can use two points to, yes. to, to also to cycle the cards. I um, enjoy that. So even though we're playing with two players, yeah. uh, it, the market or the offer doesn't feel like uh, static. No, that's... Uh, that is really important. And I feel like there is a strategical and like a little as uh, 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 tactical mix yep. of, of thinking yeah. here because you have like an overall plan. Like, okay, I'm going to turn these pages, then I get the resources, then I can do this action. So you have like a plan. But then, as you said, maybe you change the offer and um, all, all the other books are there and I don't want them anymore. Yeah. Or the Chronicle lets me do something uh, like a bonus action that I need something else for. So then I will change my my plan. But it's like a li little planning ahead, but not like heavy strategy. Uh, and this, this Chronicle is kind of like a like good and bad. I enjoy it. You get like a cool thing you can do. And sometimes like, oh, but I really need that paper but if i dis discard it and i get to write a page but sometimes it can be like very lucky for me to write for example oh last time we played i we got this one where i can just discard a pen to move up on the red the blue the green track the red the blue it's not even blue the the green track and that was like in a moment where i really needed another movement on that so i could max that track mm -hmm. out which then helped me get a lot of points so that is kind of like a you have to be aware that there's like some luck elements in the game, which is yes. going to be in all card drawing games. But this also adds a bit to that. Nothing here is super OP. It's not going to be like no, swinging no. the game. But just know that it's there. It didn't bother me too much, but it's just a thing that you need to know. Yeah, like the one issue that I have with the game is I think the lack of variability. It mm -hmm. doesn't feel like it has a lot of variability because you're, as you said, a lot of the pages, it is the same thing it's you're similar, doing, yeah. like converting um, resources to pages or play, paying like pages to do something else. Um, moving up on the tracks, it feels a little samey. You can go for different like uh, uh, heavy on the tracks or heavy mm -hmm. on the books or one book or three books or two. Uh, so I think that it's nice that the Chronicle adds some variability to oh, the yeah. game because it changes up the uh, way that you would have played if it wasn't there. Yeah, one thing to note is that there is 
kind of zero interaction in the game. So um, I don't mind like a, a, a multiplayer solitaire game, but that's also one of the reasons like after the first time we played it, it's like there's no reason to play this with more than two people uh, because I, and many would then probably say there's no reason to play it with more than one people uh, or person. <laughs> one people. Uh, but I, we, we don't play a lot of solo games and I always like to have that actual opponent. And, and so the two player game, it's, it's, it's re there's really no interaction because there's no common goals. You have your own goals. Mm -hmm. The only interaction is like the offer. Sometimes mm. people, oh no, you took that card. Uh, but that is but like there's many cards. Yeah, but that yeah. is mm. sometimes you you took the card on it like two times in a row. Oh. Um, but that is kind of like the only interaction that is really there. Yes. Uh, so let's talk a bit about the weight and who is it for. Yeah, I think this is like a light game, yeah. light medium maybe. Uh, but I think that if you enjoy seeing some innovation and new things, uh, mm -hmm. try it out in games. This absolutely tries out this mechanism I haven't seen before. No. So I think that is uh, cool. I also think that y this is a game for you if you're more... In it's yeah, You enjoy solving a puzzle. If you really like interaction in your games, this sh will not be for you. No, I agree with everything you said. Like I feel like, um, uh, yeah, I agree with everything yes. you said. I, do, I tried to add something, but I didn't have anything to add. So should we go into the final thoughts category of this video? Yes. Okay, before we do that, there's just one thing I have to say. If you enjoy what we do, what we ramble on, talk about these games, board games, which are cool, then you can help us out in a super big way, which is easier for you and very nice for us, is by giving us a victory point. And you might be a question mark being like, hey, how does that work? I don't even know how to give people a victory point. You are lucky, my friend. Sino is here with a tutorial. We get victory points in life and YouTube when you click that subscribe button down there. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. You can even give us a coin by commenting or liking Ding. this video. Yeah, so final thoughts, do you want to begin? Yes, uh, I enjoy my time with this game, but because and I of... enjoyed my book. <laughs> you enjoyed your book. So together we the books of time. Yay. Okay, back to you, sorry. Yes, um, I, I think that for me, I feel a little done with it now yep. because I feel like, oh, this is a cool puzzle. I don't want to say I mastered it because I lost every time. So obviously- I'm a master of losing. It's still, uh, I still have to something to do in this game to mm -hmm. get better but for me um i would like a little more interaction to yeah. keep it fresh every time you come back to it i think that if you're a bigger group like three or four i would choose another game mm -hmm. because of the lack of interaction i think this like a solo game or two players is the best for this game um i think it's above average i want to give it a six okay i enjoyed books of time uh, I'm very happy to have played it. It's gonna be in that category, which is that, a game that I'm very happy to have played, but one that I probably don't feel the need to play again. And that's probably gonna be different for different people, obviously, yes. but uh, for me, there's, we play so many games, so it's kind of like we have to put the line somewhere. And I think I liked it a bit more than you because I won and I understood uh -huh. the game. Uh, but I, I enjoyed the mechanisms. I'm, I, I hope Philip, does something more with this, trying to mm -hmm. find like another way to use this as well, because I think there is more things to discover with this flipping and changing of the actions you can choose. Uh, so I am looking forward to seeing like more in the future. I think Philip, like I enjoyed his uh, first game, Mandala Stones. I think I enjoyed that a bit more, uh, but that was like a short abstract game. So uh, and also Teotihuacan, Founders of Teotihuacan, uh, oh, yeah. which really also like was his that design. One. So. Really, I'm still gonna look forward to games that Philip makes. For me, this was a bit more than you. I'm gonna give it a 6.5. Cool. I think it was a nice game, and obviously you have seen this review, and you will know, hopefully, if this game might be for you or not. If it is, go check it out. If it's not, then there's other games that you can play. And that is the end of this video. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you have been watching Board Gaming Ramblings, and bye-bye.